you like to start these things off? <laughs> hey y'all, we're back again with another video. And I guess Mr. Sands is going to start us off with another topic since that's what he likes to do. Oh, I'm looking here. I'm out. Not yes, there. we are. I'm okay. looking here. Thank you. Let's start over. Hey y'all. Welcome back. We're back with another video. Um, today's video is going to be about... Hold on, time out. Because in the last video, you said, say your name. They don't know you. Well, because you introduced yourself in the last video, you don't got to introduce yourself no more. Okay, we're going to pull up that footage right here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mary here again. And uh, today we will be talking about... Sex. What's your name? What about for the new people that hop on and don't know who we are? You need to introduce Hello, yourself every time. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Just because I don't think she meant that. But okay. Well, introduce yourself. My name is Matthew. I'm married. Okay. Uh, let's get started. Today we're going to talk about fighting. My back hurt. <laughs> fighting. Yes, we're gonna talk about fighting. We're gonna talk about fighting, okay. not physically fighting, y'all. In case, because I know that's where y'all minds went. We don't physically fight. You know what I'm saying? I don't physically fight her. We don't physically fight. But we're gonna talk about fighting fair. Fair. How fighting. do you fight fair in marriage? Man, that is something else. <laughs> you tell me how we fight. I don't know. I don't know. Um, we don't fight that much. We actually don't fight that much. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's it's because I ain't got time for it. Yes, he's definitely like if I am trying to express myself or fight and argue. You know what I get? I think that's the best type of fight fighting with silence but that's not what we're gonna that's talk not about fair though. It's, and it's also not really healthy it's not healthy except i ain't that, got time no you need to have time to communicate just being quiet is damaging okay um so here's the thing here is the thing i actually try my best not to fight only because I feel like that is probably my best way of fighting fair just to be honest um not that I really it ain't really a guy thing or it's a because... husband thing to say the wrong thing we can start there right what don't say the Hus wrong thing. husbands don't really for the most part I know there's some I husbands know. who are not good not good at anything and they like to say not good at anything. Not good at anything. That's if you, terrible. If you if you say the wrong thing in a fight, then you're not good at anything. Here's the thing: some the the majority of husbands, and I, let me just explain that the majority of husbands try not to say things that are unfair in a fight. That's just husbands. That's just usually how men operate. We actually try not to hurt our spouse, our significant yeah. other. We don't, and you know that. And it's, it's, it's because we know, hit y'all with a Bible verse, women are the, the wives of the weaker vessel. The last thing we're trying to do is, is hurt is hurt y'all feelings. Y'all think that we don't have feelings, though, and that might be a problem. That's, might be not, mm -mm. that's not true. That's yes, not true. true. But it's like, if you are consistently quiet, nonchalant, and express no emotion, then it's like, what could I possibly say that's going to bother you? No, you don't say anything to me. Because nothing bothers me. We're not talking about each other right now. We're talking to the people. Only because... Well, we have to be talking about each other to talk to the people. But if we're talking about like, each other, and they be like, they be like, y'all don't really fight. You know what I'm saying? So why is this even a topic then? Here's the thing. Are we trying to help people? <laughs> we can never talk about abuse because we don't put our hands on each other. Somebody want to hear about abuse. That's what I'm just saying. That's just a scenario. You're confusing me. Oh, my gosh. 
Let me let me continue where I was. Here's the thing. This might be really a, a good a good conversation for the women who feel like they can say anything to that man and it's okay. But then when that man say something, it just it just stabbed them in the heart. Let me give you a scenario. Hold on, time on, because I know you're really ready to defend your defend your women. That's just the scenario. You know, I I have I have pretty high self esteem now that I booked her. <laughs> so I'm chill. I'm chilling. But imagine every day, right? I go in the mirror, and I'm looking at my neck. I'm just like, dang, my neck fat. I don't know why I pick my neck, and I ain't got no neck. <laughs> I ain't got no neck fat. Oh, I go in there and I and I see I got some I got love handles or something. And every day I go in this mirror, I'm looking like, dang, man, I got these. I'm trying to get rid of this, right? What can you say? You see me every day struggling with this. Then we get in a fight. <laughs> and we and we talking back and forth. I'm trying not to say nothing off bucks. And say, well, that's why you fat. And you ain't going to never be skinny. And it's just like, dang, babe. I don't babe. say this. No, you don't. That's just a scenario. Oh, I, don't okay. have a, I, don't have, I don't really have a love handles. So... That it's just a scenario, but you know, but y'all be doing that, and I'm sorry, not y'all. Yeah, I I wasn't gonna make it a general statement, but women do that more. But men often do than that men. as well. But we don't do some, it like women. Some That's men why. do that as well. Some men look for the weakest, but they weak men areas in in their women's lives to try to attack when they get into it. But that's that's weak men. We're not talking about the weak men. Oh. Even though we should be talking to y'all weak men. Because here's the thing. We don't do that. Yeah, come on. Grow up. That's all I'm going to say. Grow up. <laughs> but the thing is, back to what I'm saying. Majority of the time, y'all kind of bring it up like, dang, that's going to hurt his feelings. And then... I don't think that... I think that women... Um, a lot of times we don't think before we speak, but I don't think we have in our mind, oh, let me say this specific thing because I know it's going to dig him. Like, well, I don't. I'm not going to say every woman out there is like that. But I know for me, I'm not like looking for the worst possible thing I can say to hurt you. Sometimes I just, okay. you know, in the moment, you know, oh. you just say you something, just say but something. you're not intentionally trying to, you know. And here's the Hit thing. Hit them where it hurts. And here's the thing. When most but of us, some, some of y'all be doing that, though. Mm-hmm. And here's the thing. When most of us got married, they gave y'all a little love chapter in the Bible. And one of them say love holds no record of wrong, don't it? But here we go. But how about that time when you left me at the house and you went out with your boys? I forgave you back then, <laughs> seven years ago. But the thing is, you try and leave again and go out with your friends. <laughs> so now I got to bring that thing up again. Yeah, we, we do that sometimes. Sometimes. Wow, okay. We do that sometimes. We don't mm. let stuff go. Mm-mm, never. Um, see, but you know why? You know, people have... The world has this saying where it's like, you forgive but never forget. Mm-hmm. So, because that saying is out there, you know, in the world, and I feel like women, we just kind of... We remember that. So, it's like... You know, I can forgive you, but I'm never going to forget. You know, fool me once, but you ain't going to fool me twice. That whole kind of kind of concept. But that completely go against biblical principle. Because love holds no record of wrong, right? But, not but. Okay, so love holds no record of wrong. So does that mean that you forget what someone has done, though? No, nah, but I mean, if you forgive somebody, I mean, you don't bring it up 15 times. You don't bring it up, so... You don't gotta forget, but you don't gotta bring it up. All right, but saying. but try, but try, try your best to just kind of throw it in the back of the head, throw it it's, in the. It's head not possible. And to see a forgetfulness. Sometimes it's not possible. It depends on yeah, yeah, how, yeah, yeah. how traumatic how it was. Traumatic mm-hmm. it was like if and not that we've never dealt with this, but like if something, mm, I don't even know if I should go that deep, but if your spouse like stepped out on you or something yeah, you and you decided forgive to forgive them and stay but with the them is, you it's it's hard to tell someone who's experienced that to forget it you see what i'm saying i get you i get you However, but it doesn't make it right to bring it, it up make it right like if you decided up. if you decided to take them back to take them back and to stay then it's not fair you know to the spouse to consistently bring it up um that's good. Yeah. 
Um, all right, so we, we can talk about some kind of some rules in this fighting fair thing. Man, I wish we had boxing gloves because that'd be a good prop. Not to hit each other, but just as like a little. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I want to check on my baby. Be That's respectful. Fine. Be respectful. So, what is res- what what is respect? You know what? Let's, cause I feel like a lot of times, and it might seem real real respect. crazy, but a lot of times we throw these words out right, and we don't have a clear understanding of what it means. So, respect. Went to Google. Respect is a feeling of deep admiration for someone or something. Elicited by their abilities, qualities, or achievements. I don't like that definition. But we're gonna keep we're gonna keep it. <laughs> a feeling of deep admiration for someone or something elicited by their abilities, qualities, or achievements. I guess. Oh, we, well, no, we could do the second one. Do regard for the feelings, wishes, rights, or traditions of others. That's better. That's better. So consideration. Yeah. Um. And the thing is. That's kind of the first. That's kind of the first step in fair fighting because it kind of tell you if you respect somebody or not. Mm-hmm. If you hit them off with some, that's why you got that that back fat. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> I'm so glad I got no back fat, y'all, because I would be hurt right now. I just want y'all to know. Because she think it's funny. It's like, why, of all things, you just randomly say that, though? Well, because I couldn't think of nothing else off the, off the rip, you know. But that's, well, what I'm saying is... So, don't pick that thing that you know bothers your spouse the most. Never attack that area. Mm-hmm. Like, no matter how mad, angry they may make you, never attack that area. And the thing is, think about the second and the third thing. That probably bothered them too. Don't attack that either. How about we just don't attack each other? The thing is, yeah, don't attack each other. Usually, don't attack each other. That's usually, good. when there is a a quarrel amongst a quarrel amongst the believers. Come on, come on, Bay. Usually, when there is get an these, argument, get it's these not gems. because y'all are mad at y'all don't like each other. It's something that happened, you know. So, focus on thank you so much baby oh my gosh focus on that thing and try not to stray from it if we talking about dishes I leave dishes in the sink a lot it's okay I, I confess I don't want her to be like see you always leaving the dishes in this sink and that's why you dirty now cause you don't <laughs> clean up after yourself then it's like wait hold on it was just the dishes I took a shower this morning like I ain't dirty I just left the dishes that's the thing <laughs> let's try to keep on topic that's number two because the first one is be respectful number two stay on topic stay on topic that's good that's good babe. I just came with that off the top of the head for real be respectful I kind of you know, it just kind of made sense you got a third one off the top of the dome that's how we do it right here stay on topic um I, you know, things don't come quick to me mm-hmm. like like it do. Let me let me help you right here. Let me help you right here. <laughs> Find some common ground. How about you start with that one? What you mean? I have no idea. <laughs> Find some common. But just ground. like last time, I'm gonna make it make sense. The thing is, we gonna cut that because I don't know. <laughs> I got one. I forgot. Listen. Oh, that's... No, that's good. I was going to say something earlier when I stopped myself from cutting you off because I'm working on that, you know. And honestly, that's what... And see, this is why... And I'm not not saying it's okay, but this is why I be cutting you off. (laughs) Because my... (laughs) Because my thought leave, and then I'm like, Dad, yeah. what was I going to say? Well, you found it. All right, boom. So, I was going to say, ladies, especially, we need to listen to their point before mm-hmm. responding. But I, but not just ladies. I think that's both parties, yeah, right? Both so, when there's a heated, you know, topic or conversation at hand, it's easy to already, you know, have in your mind what you're going to say back but because you're thinking of your response you're not even you know processing or really listening to um you know the other parties like their feelings or what they're trying to 
get across or whatever the case may be. And baby, that's good. That's so good. But here's another thing. When you say heated, how about we let it cool down? That's number four. Let it cool down. The thing is... What do you mean let it cool let down? Let it cool down means if the dishes in the sink and you go lay them dishes you say, oh my goodness, <laughs> and you storm upstairs, that's already wrong. It's already wrong because <laughs> you about to call me dirty. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing. Wait. Wait. I will say, I, say I've learned that. And you though. have done that. And I've the thing is, that. this is how Mary, this how Mary fight with me. I have done what? I mean, Hold up. No, no, it's not a bad thing. What? This, this is how Mary does me. It, de- it just depends on what's going on. Like if it's the dishes, she just go to me like, "Oh, babe, you look nice today." <laughs> oh, you you playing the game? Oh, that's so nice. Um, we <laughs> should talk about the dishes that's in the sink because I just need some help around the house. Boom. But if you'd have probably done it when you saw it, you called my phone. Lee, like I've, I've come along. I've learned that. Mm-hmm. I've learned that because it's easy to, especially when it's something that happens consistently. Okay, throw me under the bus, I guess. But it's okay. <laughs> when we decided to do this, we decided that you know open uh-huh. ourselves up to mm-hmm. the people. You know, what I'm saying? I don't like doing dishes. That's okay, but I do. I don't like doing dishes either. Thank the Lord, we are blessed with a dishwasher. Yes, we are. But my thing is, my son. No. Sorry, but in a couple of years, it's going to be him. <laughs> but my thing is, I think that's what makes me even more irritated. It's like, bro, you don't even have to hand wash. You can just load the dishwasher. All right, but this, this ain't about, this ain't about dishes. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have brought up the dishes. We should have brought but, up something. But no, I'm, but I'm just saying. It makes but, sense, though. It makes sense, though. But like he said, I've learned to process mm-hmm. and then engage in conversation mm-hmm. at a calm when I'm calm. Especially like, when especially when husbands don't really like being attacked. You know what I'm saying? I've learned that. We we like praise. We we like the we like for y'all to gas us up. That's yeah. why I say her say to Bay now, gas me up real quick. Yeah ladies, you gotta gas them I'm telling you mm-hmm. that I've learned something. You know, when you gas up your man you know how many times I've been cooked in the last two weeks? Listen. Mainly because I paid for the the the, move, the meal prep service, but but still, you know, I, I cook. <laughs> but you know, it 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 is is an amazing thing, you know. Um, so, ladies, I would say we definitely need need to learn to show appreciation often, not just you know, randomly. Like it needs to be a consistent um, show of appreciation. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We we love it, and the more you do it, the more we do what you want yeah. done. Oh my gosh! Before the whole pandemic, I come in here after I look at, left the gym. Man, I'm like, oh, you looking good? I'm like, all right, I'm about to go back to the gym right now. That's true, though. I'm about to go downstairs and do some. That's right true, now. though. <laughs> it just it just it makes sense. So that's the so. When you process, I'm sorry, I need to go check on my baby. Oh my gosh, he's not even crying. Baby, he just move around a lot. I want to make sure he didn't move as long as he. Y'all, I don't actually like the way this um this camera is. I feel like I want to see more of me, so just give me a second. Oh, that's much better, much better. Um, no, how about you move this way a little bit? Hmm? Move not that way. So. Black information process because obviously she just threw that all over. Make sure you don't just like attack. Don't come off attacking. Always start with. Can I say something? Yes, you can. So, ladies, if you're like me and you typically forget what it is that you wanted to say, because I know a lot of times I would just like blurt it out and be mad in the moment. But write it down or grab your phone. Sometimes I grab my phone, go in my notes, and be like, "This is what I need to say." Because in the moment, you don't want to say it because you might say it wrong. You might be attacking. You might be irritated. But in order for you to not forget what it is that you really need to say, take notes. Write it down. And then at a later moment, come back to it. Even if you got to put it up on your phone and be like, this is what I needed to talk to you about. But it comes off a lot sweeter, you know. It's important. Um... What else about fighting fair? Um, play games. Play games. Yeah, I'll finish this up when I come back. Watch.
Now, what I was saying was play games. So, like, make it make it fun. And by that, I mean me and Matt started this thing where whoever gets smart with the other person, you got to cash at some $2. So, and it's, it's fun, but it's also good because it makes you conscious of how you might, you know, talk to your spouse. So, although it's a game, it really does make us think like, oh, I just got smart with you unnecessarily. Mm -hmm. And, and I'd be like, run me my two dollars. She do all the time, and it makes it kind of makes you aware of how often you do it, and it also makes you a little more accountable for the way you speak to your spouse or your significant other. So, and don't just send them the money. Like, put it in the cash app. Don't don't cash out. At the end of the month, see who got more money. Obviously, that's the one who doesn't get smart the most. Um, but that doesn't mean just... I already messed it up because I already gave it. I know. I know. You do it every time. Well, no. I deposited everything from my Apple page to my thing. So, yeah. Um, another thing. <laughs> I just love him. Another thing. Remember that even though you're in the fight, y'all still on the same team. That's good. That's a good one, wasn't it? That's good. Um, with that being said, we're fighting against. Yeah, against stuff. Stuff, right? not yeah. each other. So once y'all, once y'all figure out this, the the conflict, attack the conflict. I beat up them dishes all the time. I'm like, why don't I ever put you away? Why don't I ever throw you in the dishwasher? I don't do that because that would be dumb. But the thing is, we can't. It can never turn personal when it's stuff about like just face random know. things. Okay. Now he's like he woke up. Fat. And that would be funny. <laughs> so y'all not fighting each other. Y'all fighting y'all fighting this this conflict. Remember that. Um another thing is Um, try, tr let's try our best not to be, in our feelings, how am I trying to say this? Um, I it's impossible though, because, but I, I, what I mean is like, I'd rather you describe your feelings, you know, let me know how you feel, don't show me with, with anger, like if that makes you upset or angry, don't give me that angry don't give me the anger. Just be like... So, what does that sound do that? like then? Like, so, what is the proper communication? Babe, when you X, Y, and Z, it, it, it really angers me. I would actually babe, love... when you are sarcastic every day of your life, it really angers me. Like that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 Woo! But here's the thing. <laughs> she right. She right. Um, yeah. Another thing. Side note. Don't dish out what you can't take. Oh, but that's women. Oh my gosh, we started with that. No, no, no. It's men too. No. Because if you are very sarcastic, and then everything I say back to you is sarcastic, don't then get in your feelings mm -hmm. when you are the one who started out with the sarcasm. I don't get my Mindy feelings, but she do think I be getting my feelings. I just kind of be he like, his feelings. I'm like, dang, you hit me with that. That's, that's, him, that's him getting his feelings. Nah, I, I respect it, you know. You want to fight sarcasm with sarcasm. You fight sarcasm with sarcasm. But the thing is, I don't try to answer back with sarcasm because then I feel like no hold barred, you know. I don't want to say something I don't want to. But yeah, um... I feel like we could be done with this. Yeah. I think we like had a that. good I think we had a good conversation with you guys. Make sure you love each other. Make sure you you, you challenge each other with that two dollar Yes, two, start a two dollar game. Do five dollars. We kinda cheat. Do five dollars. <laughs> well yeah, if you do five dollars, you probably really watch um mm, how well, smart you you get you with will. your spouse. Women will $5 always later. owe That's not true. Yes, they will. Start it for like a week, ladies, and then comment like 
after a week, who owes the most? Somebody gonna comment, hey, I owe my uh, husband $45. It's been 15 minutes. <laughs> but it's okay. Because Stop saying it's women all the time because there's some men out here that sharp at the tongue and don't know how to talk to their lady. And, and the then thing. you gonna run my sis her coin, okay? But here's the thing. If the, if the, if the, run husband, her, her coin. If the husband is sharp at the tongue and more talkative and more combative, and see the husband. Oh, did I say that? I did. So, um, <laughs> let's talk. Let's talk next week or whenever uh, we come back on here. We're going to try to be more consistent. Maybe next week. Um, next week. On this next segment of. We ain't come up with this title yet, y'all. We didn't. But it's okay. Help us out. I'm going to just keep saying Mary Matt chat until. I don't like that. That's so, like, blah. I mean, okay. Mar- marriage with Mary Matt, but it's relationships. So never mind, forget it. Um, we'll figure it out. Um, y'all have a great whatever time it is when y'all watch this day. Oh baby, we should match. And yeah, see. You. Bye.